So now I feel we can start to add some warmer colours in here and then start to judge the earlier colours we've put on to it and then see how the painting's progressing. So just with the yellow and add a bit of the red to it. So I haven't had any white to this because white always cools the colour. I'll always bring out the pinks or the blues. It always goes towards cool. So if you lighten a colour with yellow, it will always keep that warmth to it. When you've got that warmth, you get like this lovely orange. That's looking nice. So you can see how, because I'm using the palette knife and their artist quality paints, you can really cover over what you've already painted you know, quite easily. So now I can start to add some more of this darker purple, some lovely heathery colour that you get so much in Scotland. Some areas here could even go darker, so I'm just going to make a quick black with the brown and the blue. So this gives us a good basis of how the colours are working together and now we can start to refine some of these areas working more with a brush and maybe some more areas with a palette knife just with a cleaner colour. You start to see how these colours are nice and clean at the top but sometimes when you run out of paint on the palette knife you'll start to get these areas where 
they're a bit more mixed up colour and they can start to look a bit messy sometimes. So it's often nice to get to this stage, you know, have a little break from it, come back with fresh eyes and just see, okay, what can I now tweak? And I can immediately see there's areas here I want to be lightened to bring the house out a bit more, other areas that I just want to change the drawing a bit and maybe add in another punch of colour somewhere. So I'm just going to cover over this area here. It's not quite dry yet, but I'll still be able to cover it over. So I'm just going to use a bit of the yellow and a bit of burnt umber. See how it creates a very muted green. It's very, very handy because it stops your painter becoming too green and too vivid especially if you've got a lot of oranges in the actual landscape. feels better, like a solid colour. And now when I look at it, this side of the house looks too grey, I can afford for that to go a bit brighter so that you really are focused in more on the house. And I think a few very fine lines will just help to give the illusion that it's more detailed than the painting actually is. So I'm just going to really scrape that off. Okay, and then go a little bit lighter on top of there. I'm just going to take a small brush, just a small round. And this can just help you to get, you know, an odd sharp edge. See how just having that sharpness there. Can really help. I'm just resting my finger just on the edge of the actual painting, just to help me with a bit of balance. It gives you more control with the brush, just so I can just put in the window here. 